Hi, it's Kim from Apostrophe S, and this is the instructional video for our Wanna Spoon kit. It's a set of three utensils, and you'll hand paint the handles to add a little bit of extra color and pattern there. Now we have some different versions of this kit, so you may not have the same colors as that I do, um, but just for the purpose of instructional video, all of the instruction and the techniques are the same, so it doesn't really matter there. Now you can use these to cook, you can use them in um, your kitchen as, as home decor, and they also make great gifts too. So here's a look at your kit. You'll get your set of three utensils, your paint, I've got it in here, your paint, your tape, top coat, and leather ties, and then a paintbrush and sandpaper too. And that means from home you just need a few things. So keep some paper towels and a cup of water nearby so you can rinse and dry off your brush. And also, um, just to keep your work surface clean, you'll want to have paper towels nearby just in case. And then we've also found it pretty handy to have a cup or a mug so while your paintbrush is, or <laughs> said that last time too, <laughs> while your utensil is drying, you can sit it in here and that way this part doesn't lay flat on any surface and get smudged. And then you can start working on one of your other utensils. And if you've got all of those things, then we're ready to go. So to start off, you need to sand off your handles. This helps the paint stick a little bit better. And then also, you wanna pay attention to this hole in the top where the leather tie will go through. You wanna make sure that that's nice and sanded so you don't have any um, little splinters or anything especially if you're gonna use this for cooking. So sand that down, and then you'll be ready to paint. Um, before I show you some of that, let me show you some examples. So this is the very simplest version that you can do, or the very simplest technique you can do. It's just color blocking. It's so timeless, it's really cute, it looks clean, um, and it's very, very simple. All you have to do is tape off your lines so that they're nice and clean and straight. If you want to take that a step further, you can do extra little polka dots, um, little ribbons of color, little diagonals. You can tape off um, triangles or diamonds, a chevron pattern or herringbone. You can pretty much tape off anything that's got straight lines. It's pretty simple to do. And this makes it a little bit more whimsical kind of cute. Um, and of course, if you want to, you could just freehand these too and use the paintbrush to um, write an initial or a name, um, an insp inspirational word, whatever you want to. So now let's get started on the simplest technique and that is color blocking. You'll take your tape. It's pretty thick and wide. I mean, yeah pretty wide. So tear it in half or cut it in half and then use the straight edge right like this to act as your barrier. And you'll pull and um, pull it tight where you need to and then push it down so that it creates a nice seal. And from there you can paint and everything um, will fall into a straight line. So here's my paint. I think I'll do this one blue. And another great thing about this paint is that it covers really well. It's The pigment is nice so it covers without a lot of coats. So you'll just paint this going right up against that tape. Okay and go all the way up your utensil and then all the way around and then set it in a cup or something so that that part can dry while you're working on another utensil. And you'll end up like this. So let it dry, um, I'm gonna say five or 10 minutes before you take off the tape. So you can see I've got a clean line there and then I'll tape, take this one off too. And that tape really helps you get a clean line. Okay, um, now you want to add more paint onto it, so all you need to do here is just butt up the tape right against that line. 
and you want the paint to be a little bit more dry, so I'd say more like 15 minutes before you put the tape right directly on it. But I just follow that line all the way around. Okay, and then paint from there on up. And then you'll end up with, your spoons will look more like this, the color blocking. So now you can add in extra shapes or colors or patterns. Um, to do the polka dots, I'll use my blue again. Use the tip of, or the end of your brush. It makes a really nice dot. It's easier than using the bristles of the brush, just like that. That's how you do the polka dots. And then, like I said before, you can tape off. Just use scissors on your tape and make lines or patterns or grid or whatever you need to there. And then your last step is to apply your top coat, again with that same paintbrush, and then tie on your leather ties. So when you're done, you'll have your set. Your set of utensils, just like this. And you're good to go. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you, you, you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And that way you'll be up to date on all of our latest products. And you can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Hope you've enjoyed Wanna Spoon from Apostrophe S. Make it yours.